Okay, we're just going to go ahead and, um, in the second part of the tutorial, I want you to create this NURBS circle by going to Create NURBS Circle. And we're going to go ahead and add an attribute on this thing. Um, here's your, your little channels, your attributes. We're going to add another one. So we're going to modify Add Attribute. And we're going to call this attribute Steer. That's it. We're going to have it as a float. The minimum is going to be zero. That's when the wheel is going to be at the left. The maximum will be 10. And the default will be 5. That's all we have to do here. Okay? And click OK. See, it just added steer. Fantastic. Now we're going to, we could go to window, sorry, animate set driven key set, okay, this is going to be our driver, this the uh, NURB circle, and the driven is going to be our joint one, okay, now the, uh, the circle is going to be the driver, sorry, and the joint will be the driven. Mix those up. Okay, no big deal. You could always just select it, driver. You could always re re input them in the window. So the steer attribute is what we want. And for the joint we want the rotate X attribute. Actually rotate Y attribute. It's the green one. So if we look, that, that handle's green, it's rotate Y. All right, rotate Y. And we're just going to go ahead and put the rotate Y zero. All righty. And so we're at steer, joint, rotate Y. Click. Make sure we're at five here. Excellent. Click key. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to, click on the circle, and we're going to go to zero. And then we're going to go to the joint one. We're going to go to Rotate Y, and we're going to go back this way, and then click Key again. Now watch. If I click my circle, and I go to my Steer, middle mouse button, see how that works? Now we have to do 10. So, I'm going to put in 10 here. And at 10, the joints rotate Y, hold down middle mouse button. So I click the uh, channel, and then I click the middle mouse button in my viewport, and I'm going to go this way, all the way over. That's good. Right there. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to here, make sure I'm at 10, and click key. Now watch. I'm going to just close this window. Now this will control my steering wheel. I don't have to touch my steering wheel. So just a quick recap. This joint... controls the wheels and then this circle controls this joint which controls the wheels. It's like a little handle. It's just a control. That's all it is. Okay. And there you go. The same thing could work if you wanted to do an eye blink. We could actually use the same control. Watch this. Let's create a, let's create a NURB sphere real quick. Okay, we're going to add an attribute onto the circle again. So we're going to go to Modify, Add Attribute. This time we're going to call this thing Blink. And we're going to put the minimum at 0. That's when the eye is going to be closed. And the maximum at 10. That's when the eye will be open. And the default at 5. That's when the eye is going to be uh, halfway open. And click OK. Now I have a Blink and a Steer. So Blink does nothing yet. So we're going to go ahead and just rotate this down a bit. If you guys remember what the, and we'll rotate this way. Remember the start and end sweep? See that? Remember this one? See that? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to have this as the driven, and this one is the driver. So we're going to go to animate, set driven key, set. This object is going to be the driver, and this object, we're going to open this, and we want to click 
end sweep is going to be the driven. So the make NURB sphere 1 end sweep is going to be the driven. If we go to NURB sphere 1, that doesn't show up. So again, we have to click this, open this thing, and then click load driven. And that will allow us to get those history nodes as well, which is pretty important. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go to the blink. That's 5. And we want to go to the make NURB sphere 1 and end sweep. Whoops. Make NURB sphere 1. And then uh, double click here. End sweep. You have to do it through here. And we're going to open it about halfway right there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click key. So we key the blink and the end sweep. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this thing 10. And then we're going to click on this object, open that up, and go to the end sweep. Make that really big. Ah, the eyes really open here. And then we're going to click key. Okay, so that's 10. Now we're going to go to zero here for blink. And what should zero do? Well, when I click here, and this should be closed, so that's 360. Okay, again, click this object, open this up, go to our end sweep, make sure you're on make nerve sphere one here, click key. Boom. Okay, what do we just do? Let's check it out. Click the sphere, go to blink. So now this blink attribute, I'm holding down, I'm clicking this, holding the middle mouse button. I know I'm doing it right because I see the left and right arrows and the dot in the middle. And this could make control your blink. So that's pretty neat. You have one object that controls two separate things. We could add as many attributes as we want. All right, so that concludes that lecture.